Hi students, um, we're back practicing a pronunciation and listening lesson this afternoon, um, this morning, this evening, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Um, what we're going to talk about today are some very easy, tiny words that do have a slightly difficult pronunciation or their pronunciation changes. Um, and different people might pronounce them differently depending on where the word is in the sentence or how quickly the person is speaking. Um, so let's jump into these very easy, difficult, one-syllable words. The six words that we're going to look at here in our lesson today are across the screen are our, our, or, ask, and asked. And the reason that we've chosen, that I have chosen these six, um, we'll talk about more in the next few slides. They are so very simple, but they have multiple ways of being pronounced, um, causing confusion very easily, and they are easy to mispronounce in fast conversation. So when we think about the pronunciation of these words, um, the first two that I want to look at are the words are and our. Now, these two words in clear, beautiful English should be pronounced differently. However, I've linked them together here because it's very common for the word our to actually be pronounced the same as the word are. When we add in the word our, these two words of our, O-U-R, the possessive, and our, H-O-U-R, the noun, talking about time, these two words ought to be pronounced identically. Your, your mouth starts out wider and then becomes very small. Our, our, our. Our family. Our family is taking a vacation. When are you going? We are going on our vacation. Are, are, our. However, many people in fast, reduced speech take this word of our, our family, and it becomes our, our family. Our family is going on our vacation. Our family is going on our vacation. And then we come to our word of or, or, which also has two pronunciations. There's a strong or, or, where your mouth should make a very small circle. Or, or. Um, do you like coffee or tea? Coffee or tea. But then we also have this reduced er, er. Very, very, very fast. Very, very cut. Do you like coffee or tea? Coffee or tea? Coffee or tea? Coffee or tea? Our last two words I've included today because the pronunciation of the consonant cluster, I mean the group of consonants, in ask, it's, it's difficult but manageable. In asked, asked, you have the s, k, t group all together. And it's very difficult to pronounce this if you don't have a habit of putting together groups of consonants to, like English does. Asked, asked. I asked him a question. He asked me yesterday. He asked me, asked. What often happens with speakers of English, even people who have been speaking English since they were born in um, whichever country they're living in, often this ask becomes ax, ax, because ax is much easier to pronounce than asked, asked. He asks me a question. He asks me. I ax him. But we want to be very careful on our pronunciation. 
Um, it's one of the easiest words to mispronounce in English is this word ask, asked. Let's look a little deeper at these words and the meaning, listen to them in a few different sentences, and hopefully then by the end of the lesson, you'll be feeling very strong with all six. So we're going to start off by looking at are and or. Are, remember that looser, looser lip. Are, or, that very, very small or. How are you? How are you? Are you traveling this week? Are you traveling this week? When are you going to go? When are you going to go? Remember that our word or has two pronunciations, this very clear or and the very reduced er. Do you prefer coffee or tea? You can go or, or stay. Blah, blah, blah. You can go or stay. Do you prefer coffee or tea? You can go or stay. Go or stay. You can go or stay. You gotta choose him or me. Him or me. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate or vanilla? And then we come to our and our. And these two words should sound identical. But again, O-U-R, the possessive, our, is very often reduced in pronunciation to R. Two pronunciations, that strong pronunciation of our, where your mouth is starting out wider and then becoming small, our, one our, our family. And then that weak pronunciation that sounds more like R, R. So let me read these sentences using both pronunciations. Our car is in the shop. We went back to our house. Our car is in the shop. We went back to our house. Our, of course, the noun, how many hours. I saw her one hour ago. Finally, our quick words of ask and asked. I asked her a question, not I ax, I axed her. He asked me to help, asked, asked me. And the reason that I make this um, pronunciation point, and it's often a joke with English teachers, that the word ask is the appropriate pronunciation because ax, ax, is the word for this tool that you see on the right side of the screen that we use to chop a tree or um, break a piece of wood. So if you ask someone a question, wonderful. If you ax someone, you hit them with an ax. So don't ax me a question. Don't ax me a question. But again, this mispronunciation is very common among people who speak English from the time that they're born until they're grown-up adults in this country or in any English-speaking country because that group of consonants, skt, skt, that group of consonants together, we call that a consonant cluster, that group of consonants together is very difficult to pronounce. If you want to practice ask with the correct pronunciation, think about some rhyming words like mask, task, ask, and try to do a repetition of some rhyming words. Record yourself um, with your camera, listen to your pronunciation. Are you making the correct ask, ask? Okay, you know that at the end of these small pronunciation lessons, my favorite thing to do is put all of the words together into one crazy group of sentences, um, one small paragraph, so that you can hear all of the pronunciations in a repeated pattern. So the first thing I want to do, I want to read this for you twice. The first time I read it, I want to read 
these words with the clear pronunciation of or and our. The second time I read it, I want to read it using my fast pronunciation of u and r. So, clear pronunciation. She asked me, are you ready or are you not? Our children will be here in one hour. How are you going to keep them entertained? I didn't know how to answer the question that she asked me. Second, reduced, fast pronunciation. She asked me, are you ready or are you not? Our children will be here in one hour. How are you going to keep them entertained? I didn't know how to answer the question that she asked me. Any questions about these pronunciations? As always, leave me questions in the comments. Um, leave some sentences using these words in different contexts. And please, if you have any pairs that are difficult for you, especially difficult in pronunciation, or um, especially those minimal pairs where they are almost the same word, but we change one piece or two pieces, let me know. I'd be happy to add them to my list of words to talk about in a future video. Take care, students. Bye.